Now let us discuss the second uh, point roller tech which became one of the cause that led to the non cooperation movement. According to your book on receiving a report from sedition committee headed by justice, justice Rollett, Sir Sidney Rollett was the justice. Uh, two bills were introduced, two bill introduced kiye gaye the central legislative assembly mein. Uh, the purpose of these bills, a purpose kya raha bill ka to curb the growing upsurge in the country. So, whatever the na revolutionary activities or nationalist activities were going on at that time in order to stop those things. First thing. Second, to curtail the civil liberties of uh, Indians. The Indians ko civil liberties thi, unhe rokne ke liye ya unko stop karne ke liye. Tisra, well, ye book bayan nahi kar rahi hai, ye tisra kya tha? Uh, during the war, there were a number of, uh, I mean, British spent a lot of money during the First World War. And they were uh, keep on increasing the taxes in India. So, in the taxes increase kar rahe the. So, ek aisa desh jahan pe pehle hi revolutionary activities chal rahi thi, ya nationalist activities chal rahi thi. People were showing their agitation and they were looking forward to have some constitutional reforms in order, right? They were looking forward to have constitutional reforms, but opposite to it, British were uh, yeah, imposing the taxes. So, agitation was there amongst the Indian people at that time. So, in order to stop that thing, in order to curb the, curtail the civil liberties, in order to curb the nationalist uh, yeah, revolutionary activities, this Rollet Act was given. Uh, so, opposition rahi is ki, though no doubt about it, people opposed it, people went against it, but it was passed. Now, let us see the uh, clauses or the provisions of the Rollet Act, in, which is really important because they are going to ask you. First one, arrest of a person without warrant. So, police was given enormous power. British government ne police ko sari powers de di, that they can arrest anyone without warrant. They can search any place without warrant. Kisi bhi vyakti ko kisi bhi jaga ke upar arrest kiya ja sakta tha bina warrant ke. Second, in camera trial. A in camera trial kya hai? It's a term, as I think at that time they were not using that online conferencing, a video conferencing. This means in private, right, secretly. What were the trial, what were the judgment that judge is going to make, right, to punish or to uh, give judgment regarding any victim which was, uh, who was arrested under this, uh, under this uh, uh, roll attack. So, his opinion will go in private, in the private chamber. Means, any press or any other person, witness, uh, publicly, there will not be any court room which is normal. There will not be any open court room. So, it, uh, it will remain a private. The whole trial will remain private. That is the meaning of in camera, which means in a chamber, right? This is a Latin term in a chamber, which is being used, means privately. So, if I am convicted, then my judgment will be done privately, not open. No press will not go. No one 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 will not go. Uh, let me know the judgment or whatever. Third thing, restrictions on the movement of individuals. Normally, just like nowadays, lockdown was the uh, article under article 144, sorry, section 144. People were not allowed to, people were not allowed to uh, gather. Uh, those uh, that sort of thing was there at that time. Restriction on the movement. Four things, suspension of rights of habeas corpus. Now, habeas corpus kya hai? It is a constitutional remedy. Ye constitutional remedy hai. If you are arrested, agar aap arrest kiye jate hai, uh, without, without uh, uh, taking you in front of the, in front of the judge. So, basically, your procedure aata hai ki within 24 hours, if a person is arrested, that person has to be, uh, take in front of the 
और उसे हमने जज के सामने पेश करना है विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स अगर ऐसा नहीं होता है तो दैट अरेस्ट विल भी कंसिडर्ड एज इलीगल अरेस्ट इन दैट सिनारी एक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडी होती है हेबी एस कार्पस जिसके तहत हम लोग उस व्यक्ति को आ, सामने पेश करने के लिए कह सकते हैं और यहाँ पे आ, जो अरेस्ट होगी उसे इलीगल करार दिया जाएगा कि ये ठीक नहीं है दिस अरेस्ट इज़ नॉट लीगल दिस इज़ इलीगल अरेस्ट तो हेबियस कार्पस जो होगी यानी कि इलीगल रेस्ट वाला जो सिनारियो रहेगा वो काम नहीं करेगा अंडर रॉल अटैक्ट अगर आप अंडर रॉल अटैक्ट यू यू विल बी अरेस्टेड देन यू कांट डिमांड जस्टिस अगेंस्ट दैट इलीगल अरेस्ट दिस इज दीज आर द टर्म्स अंडर द रॉल अटैक्ट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टर्म्स दिस एक्ट केम टू बी नोन एज द ब्लैक एक्ट इस वजह से इसे ब्लैक एक्ट कहा गया राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट एक्चुअल इट्स नेम इज Anarchical and Revolutionary Crimes Act. This is the real name of it. But it was given by Sir Sidney Rollet, who was the head of Sedition Committee. Right? Just because of that fellow, his name, uh, this act came to be known as the Rollet Act. Up, uh, apart from it, let me give you a brief history about it. Uh, because British were fighting against uh, European countries in Europe, there were number of German के against लड़ रहे थे, कुछ और भी देश थे जिनके against ये लड़ रहे थे. In order to stop any sort of uh, revolutionary activities and sort of nationalist activities, an act was given at that time, which was came to be known as Defence of India Act, 1915. There were number of revolutionary activities which was going on, sorry, which were going on in Punjab. So in order to stop those things. दिस एक्ट वॉज गिवन डिफेंस ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन अब ये जो एक्ट दिया गया था ये टेम्प्रेरी था राइट right? तो जैसे ही आ, हमारी जो रेवोल्यूशनरी एक्टिविटीज़ बढ़नी शुरू हो गई नेशनलिस्ट एक्टिविटीज़ बढ़नी शुरू हो गई एजिटेशन आने शुरू हो गए तो इन चीज़ों को रोकने के लिए ब्रिटिश ने एक कानून परमानेंटली एक कानून लाने की सोची राइट right? और वो जो कानून है हमारे सामने आता है एज अ रॉलेट एक्ट just to curb the civil liberties and to stop the revolutionary or nationalist activities that is why this act was given and just because of its provisions this act came to be known as the black act actually its name was anarchical and revolutionary crimes act thank you